Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Smitha. Welcome to my channel. If you've always wanted to learn how to do halo eyes, you're in the right place at the right time on the right day because today I'm going to be teaching you how to do these beautiful halo eyes in three simple steps. I'm pretty sure even if you're a beginner, you're going to ace it by the end of this video. And of course, I'm going to be doing a giveaway today as well. I'm doing giveaways throughout the month. It's my way of showing gratitude during the month of festivities. Please stay tuned for the giveaway question all the rules are in the description box below and for now let's get started on the halo eye before you apply eyeshadows it's important to even out the skin tone on your lids just so you can make the eyeshadows pop and for that you need to prime your lids my favorite way of doing it is to use a concealer i've been loving the milani concealer this is in the shade 145 and then I'm going to set it with some loose powder. I'm using Master Fix by Maybelline. And the only reason I use loose powder is because I have hooded eyes and I have the crease line passing right across the lid. If I don't set the concealer, the concealer settles in that line and creases. Step one, choose a transition shade. I usually like to choose shades that are closer to my skin tone so they can melt into my skin when I blend them out. But you can also use colorful eyeshadows, whatever you prefer. In today's video, I'm going to be using the Folklore Prague eyeshadow palette. So I'm going to choose the shade Clementinum for transition. I'm taking it with a bullet top pencil brush because it's just easier to use it in smaller areas. I'm going to simply place this eyeshadow in the inner and outer corners of my lid as well as lower lash line and now I'm going to soften and diffuse this so it doesn't look harsh and the brush that I'm using is E2 from Colourpop this is a blending brush I'm not only just softening it in the corners, whatever residue is left on the brush, I'm also swiping it through the crease. Step two, deepen the corners. And for this, I'm going to be taking an eyeshadow that is darker than my transition shade. I'm taking Camp Island, with the same bullet brush, I'm going to be doing the same exact thing of placing this in the inner and outer corners of my lid and my lower lash line. To diffuse this, again, I'm using the ColourPop blending brush, but while diffusing it, I'm going to keep it lower than the transition shade. To create that illusion of a rounded halo effect, you need to use darker shades in the corners and lighter shades in the center of the lid. And the one that I'll be using is Golden Lane. It's a beautiful shimmery gold shade. I'm taking it with a flat shader brush. This one is from Hip Dot. You can also apply it with your finger. And then using the bullet brush, I'm going to make sure the edges are well blended. I'm going to match up the lower lash line with my lid, so I'm going to be applying the shimmery shade in the center. And for that, I'm using a flat definer brush from Folklore. I'm going to spritz some setting spray on it, and I'm going to use the shimmery shade right in the center. And if you want to amp it up more, you can use more glitter. I'm just using a glitter liner from Folklore and Platinum. I'm just going to apply it right in the center of the lid so it gives that extra shine and it looks absolutely stunning. I love halo eyes with glitter. There's something so beautiful about it. That's your halo eye. You can finish this up the way you like. What I personally like to do is to use a deeper shade of eye pencil in the corners 
and a lighter shade in the center just to match it up with the lid and the lower lash line. So for the corners, I'm using the Jordana Easy Liner in black. You can also use a brown eye pencil. And for the center, I'm using the Rimmel Kajal in Hypnotic Gold. And then I'm going to finish up with a coat of mascara and lashes. For lashes, I'm using Brazen by Black Label. And for today's giveaway question, I would like to know which was the first video of mine that you watched. Sound off in the comment section below and good luck. That's pretty much it. It's as easy as one, two, three steps. So if you recreate this look, don't forget to tag me. All my socials are in the description box below along with all the product details. And the giveaway is coming up next. I love you guys so much. Stay tuned for the giveaway. Good luck. And all the rules are in the description box below. Love you guys. Bye.